What's up guys, Sleepy here. It's been a really long time since I've said that. I wanted to do a video on this. I was really tempted and I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna talk about it because Paper Mario is a really big part of me and I just wanted to talk about this whole Paper Mario thing going on. And uh, that's that. I just, I just wanna, I wanna talk about it. So I'm gonna talk about it a little. So basically they just announced a new Paper Mario. Paper Mario the Origami King and I don't know how I feel about it. I'm gonna I'm be real, okay? I know, I know, you know, I know there was, Circuit Star was a mess, and then there was um, Color Splash, which was like a little bit better, but not in the right direction, in my opinion. And now we have this game, and it almost, like, it just looks like it's continuing the trend. I think a thing here that they want us to think is like real, but it's not. So, you know, the past two games that no one's really liked, well, even the past three games, we've had like this singular partner entity, which looks like we we have here as well. But they're trying to show like, oh, there's other people, but I don't think these are like, these aren't like partners in the sense that we want them. I think they heard that we want partners, and so they just made like, more spots where you're playing with another character, but I don't think this is going to be partners like partner partners and I don't this isn't even okay Major complaint here. They're not even showing it in these pictures. This isn't even a, Like RPG. This is some kind of like you have to like turn them all to be in the same spot And then there I mean you have the crowd right whatever and you do damage make coins whatever and from what I can see I don't know if there's cards or not. I, I, I gotta watch the trailer again. I'll watch it with y'all in a second, but... Basically... The, the, the gameplay, I don't think, is gonna be ideal. I think maybe it'll have some Paper Mario charm, but I, I have seen people talking about this, like... They're, they're relying so heavily on the paper aspect of Paper Mario to make stories. And this, this is something, let's, let's, let's talk about this for a second. Cause look at the past couple games. Sticker Star, Color Splash, now Origami King. They're all paper based. Isn't that kind of dumb? I just think that's kind of dumb. I know it's not dumb dumb, but it's like, it's pretty dumb because all these games are also really bad. If you look at the first games, right? Thousand Year Door, what that doesn't have to do with paper. Yes, it had paper things in it. There was paper abilities, but it wasn't like, oh, we have to make a game based on the fact that he's paper. It was more like the fact that he's paper is in addition to the amazing ass story that it brought with it. So what I'm saying is all these games where they're basing the story off the fact that the world is paper, it's almost like, it's almost like, like, it has no depth to it. Does that make sense? Like, it's not, so let's, let's, we can look at this trailer here. They, they introduce it with this, like, oops, I'm sorry, I'll stop the music. They introduce it with, like, this super scary intro, because clearly this is not Peach, right? She's made of origami, the game is called the Origami King. Okay, she's been possessed or something by the Origami King. And it looks like, honestly, you could say yes or no here, and she responds the same. It's kind of dumb, which I think is dumb. They should have let you fold it yourself. It looks like, her reply looks like it's based on either answer. In my opinion. Anyway, she looking kind of cute, but anyway, that's not the point. I don't know. I don't know if this is just like some kind of thin veiled sense of a story. It doesn't. It doesn't like the story might be okay, but I don't like how paper based it is. That's just how I'm feeling, right? And then what is this? What is this? Like everything just feels papery, and everything's gonna what? Like be inside this? I don't know. I gotta compose my thoughts, because... Listen, it, it could be fun. You know, Color Splash had the dialogue, and Color Splash... almost had gameplay? Better than Sticker Star, at least. Sticker Star... Sticker Star had... Okay, Sticker Star was the lowest point of the series. I'll give you that. It's on its way up, and this could be better than Color Splash. 
I will give it that. I will give it that. But it's not going to be like Paper Mario. It still doesn't feel like Paper Mario because this isn't... But that's like... The more I say it's not going to be like Paper Mario, the more I think, okay, yeah, the first two Paper Mario games are what I consider Paper Mario, and then every game after that has been going further and further from what Paper Mario is... But there's so many of these games like this now. There are more games like this than the OG 2 now. At this point, with this game's release, could this be Paper Mario instead of what I used to think Paper Mario was? Like, they've... Or have they... Am I... No, this sounds like I'm giving up. I'm not giving up. I want a real Paper Mario game. And I don't think this is it. So let me... Let me let me go over this a little bit. Because, right, we got this door. Whatever, that's Peach's Castle. That's Peach. Blah, blah, blah. This is all boring. This is just Peach's Castle. We've seen it a million times. They just make it worse and worse every time. Because I miss the OG Peach's Castle, like, from the first game. All right, so clearly they're, like, right? They're capturing all the people that are made of paper and, like, hey, you're not... It's, for some reason, Shy Guys are the go-to, uh, like, henchmen in these past couple games. Sticker Star as well? Mm, not really. I think Color Splash had, obviously, a lot more Shy Guys, but it looks like they're also utilizing Shy Guys here. All right, so Bowser's been... Folded into a tiny square. Clearly, he becomes like a partner esque partner at some point. What is that? I didn't even see that. You know, the shadow in the. Oh, it's, it's, it's just enemies, I think. Oops, sorry. Let's see. I just want to look at it again. Yeah, it looks like it looks like they're carrying someone away. It's a Koopa. It's just a Koopa. They're just carrying a Koopa away. So they got Koopas being carried away. There's the antagonist, whatever. Origami King. I don't care about him though. Um, right, so he takes over the castle. Okay, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go back a second. Because I want to take a look at this Toad Town. It's got like this origami thing here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, the outskirts look pretty desolate, but like the castle looks coolish. Well, what's this? What's this door? We got this door. Yeah, all these doors, these, these look like important buildings to some extent. I don't know. It doesn't look bad. Like, what is this? Oh, uh, it looks destroyed. It looks like the door's destroyed. I don't know. I can't really delve too deep, obviously, into this, because we don't know why. I would just be grasping at straws here, but... So, Shy Guys maybe also the friends. At least the unpeeled ones. They'll support Bowser, whatever, which maybe even would be, in turn, supporting... Okay, I want to talk about this. Right, we got HP up here, and this HP changes, so I'm guessing, okay, he gains HP somehow. I don't think it's levels, and if it is, it doesn't really matter, because the gameplay, like the battle gameplay, is whack. I don't know why they're eating cardboard. Maybe he's made of, he looks like he's paper mache. He totally is, he has, he's got like an inner frame and stuff. Uh, this is your new partner thing. Uh, and it looks, okay, that's kind of cute. She looks so cute here, but that's not important. Uh, yeah, he's a bomb bomb. I don't know, maybe there could be some personality to the characters, but come on, this is, this is just a bomb. He's just a bomb. So I'm just, that's, that's all we can hope for in this game, honestly, is just personality. Because they're not giving us the battle system that I believe we deserve. Right, we got a toad, a new, new, new toad with a new hat. At least it's not just the same old red toad, but I mean, he's probably just for that boat segment. We got these arm power up, which looks kind of stinky. I don't really, I don't like arms. They're gonna add Paper Mario to arms. We got Bowser Jr. again. Okay, she's always. <laughs> I like her now. I don't know why, but as I'm watching this back over, every time I see her, she looks like she's like doing something cute. She's so funny. Um, but anyway, I think we spend some time with this Kamek. Maybe we spend some time with Bowser Jr. We spend some time with a bomb. We spend some time with a toad. Right, there's like a little adventure toad. This guy. Let's, let's look at him from the front again real quick. Alright, I don't got like good pausing skills. I'm sorry, but... Anyway. That, we got this adventure toad, right? He's a little, a little more customized than usual, but whatever. I don't know. That's, oh, that's the toadless... The faceless toads, we see that later. And it looks like we can explore like some kind of old world, right? We have a boat, we saw a boat, there's this car that's Mario's shoe for some reason. Maybe we could fly. There's this thing, which you know, we have the save block back here. That's pretty cool. I love save block. But this thing, a little reminiscent of the lava lava volcano from the first 
game, but I know it's not really. Maybe it's not a call out for that. I don't know what this is. Like, you're peeling apart this thing. This could be the worlds. Maybe that you can, like, travel to. You look like you're fishing over here, and there's a Koopa. Maybe that Koopa becomes a partner at some point, but it doesn't look like partners are used at all in battle. And this is just, this is like some later level battle because this man's got 12 grand in coins and 150 HP. And this, which maybe means he comes back to life if he dies. We got Toads in the audience. And he's saying slide a whole new something. Buy time? I don't know what that means. Oh, like more time, I guess, to make your decision. Ring moves? I don't know. Oh, how much you could rotate it? Okay, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of understanding this. I could see the controls on the bottom and whatnot. Right, so it looks like he's lining up these Koopas to take them all out. It says, hey, he did it, like they talk, but they're just toads. At least they're multicolored toads now, not just red toads, but they're still just toads. Right, so we've got NPCs. This looks like this looks like a town where you got NPCs and there's snippets everywhere. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. Right, this is the boat I was talking about earlier, right? They, 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 let, you, they let you drive the boat. They let you, there's Bowser. Let me drive the boat. There's Bowser. This looks like right after you actually rescue him because this is his clip. Uh, there's this world that you have to go through. These are boos? Are they origami boos? They look like pigs. Two people saying the same thing? Come on, guys. Uh, I can't tell what those are. These are ninjas. I just want to look at that floor again. Okay, so this is like a ninja-themed place, and that's a ninja thwomp, and there's ninja stars probably came from these ninjas. There's this really scary, weird yarn thing. Right, there's like a battle between the origamis and the and these guys. So here's Bowser Jr. Looks like there's the Kamek that I guess you were hanging out with. And these are all Bowser Jr.'s little minions. And you're being attacked by the origami fleet or something. They're dying. This is a giant origami turtle. There's just there's just a lot going on. You feel me? And it looks like this ending scene, I'm guessing, is when you do get back to Bowser's castle. It looks like it's maybe under attack or being attacked, right? Like it's being stacked up or something's happening. Maybe a boss or some kind. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because... I just, I have a lot of thoughts about it and I just wanted to get them all out there and here's my thoughts about it. Do I think this will be gooder than maybe Sticker Star and Color Splash? Sure, right? They're, they're taking steps maybe in the right direction. What really puts me off about this is the battle system because this is just not Paper Mario battle system. But I can't, I don't even know what Paper Mario battle system is anymore because they keep doing shit like this. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. Because this is like... We, we have to hope that the dialogue is fun and maybe that they have some fun characters because you can't just rely on Mario and his little henchmen alone because they don't have any personality. I mean, they kind of have personality and this one looks a little cute in, in this game. That's the little partner guy, the singular partner that we're probably going to get. But it looks like they're trying to throw more NPCs in there that you're going to explore with and that could be good. But the fact of the matter is, what is this battle system? Why can't we just get a normal RPG? Why can't we just get what the old Paper Marios were? What is this? So also what I'm thinking is, right, they, they rely on the aesthetics now, like, like the shaders that make it proper and the fact that it looks like paper. And I was always thinking like, you know, they always talk about Thousand Year Door remake and whether or not they'll actually do it. I'm curious to see. But like, I just, I, I'm scared. If they did a Thousand Year Door remake, I'd be scared. I know it will probably look like this. Hopefully keep the battle system, but what if it, like, doesn't? What if they, like, oh, uh, Thousand Year Door, but now you're rotating? Like, I don't know. I'm just scared. I'm scared of this shit because I don't know what they're going to do to the games that I loved. You know? So that's just, that's just how I'm feeling about this. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm a little whacked out because, you know, this everything that's going on in the world and then they just dropped this bomb on me. And yeah, I want a new Paper Mario game, but if they could have just showed me, if it was this, this doesn't look terrible. I don't like the reliance on the fact that the world is paper. I think the fact origami color splash sticker star, stop relying on the paper world, make your own original cool story. Like, yeah, origami, whatever, but... Come on, you can, you can, like, Thousand Year Door was so good because of how original it was. Even Paper Mario 64, being a generic Mario saves Bowser, I mean, saves Peach for Bowser story, was really, really good. Maybe even better than Thousand Year Door for me. I know a lot of people are in contention about that. I don't know if that's a word, but... What I'm, I'm just saying, like, what brought these games out heavily was, like, the badge-based battle RPG turn-based system... 
and now we have like this weird little like they just they're just trying too much what is going on just give us what we want this wouldn't be hard right especially isn't mario and luigi like dead they were like oh mario and luigi gonna be the turn beat like whatever i was mad about that i was mad about that i like mario and luigi but come on paper mario is its own thing I just get mad. I get heated about this because I'm just thinking like, now I'm just thinking about the fact that they ruined Paper Mario. Not that this is going to be a bad Paper Mario game, but it's not. It's not what I want. <laughs> I probably sound like a baby right now. I don't want it. Man, I'm mad. It's cool. You know, it's cool. When, the, when it comes out like soonish, right? July 17th. <sighs> I'll play it. I'm going to play it. I don't know. I'll probably I'll probably stream it put it up on my second channel but I'm just I'm just saying like I'm just saying like I, I don't I don't really want it I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna get it it could be fun it's an adventure in the Paper Mario world I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy it I'm sure but what makes me mad is the fact that Paper Mario is not what it has should have been had been what it was And I'm just mad about that. I can't get over how mad I am about that. I want to be happy about this. I do. I want to be so happy about this. But it's so hard for me when all I see when I look at this is the fact that Paper Mario is no longer like this cool original story turn-based RPG. Like, yeah, you know what? Original story. Yeah, origami. Whatever. This hasn't been done before. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm just tired of them drawing from the paper aspect. And I'm tired of them like... I'm tired of them getting rid of the battle system and the partners. I'm just mad. I'm mad now. I can't even talk about nothing. Well, let's talk about something else, yeah? They announced Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Well, they didn't announce it. This is a rumor, so it could be fake. I don't got a screen to show you, so I'll just we'll just look at this while I talk about it. But Pikmin 3 Deluxe announced. Not announced. I keep saying that word. Not announced. Pikmin 3 Deluxe was discussed or whatever. They said they said basically it's coming and it's coming pretty soon. And I think we got other games coming pretty soon, you know. And there's there's more stuff coming. But Pikmin 3 Deluxe for the Switch now. Pikmin 3 on the Switch. I wanted that. I wanted a trilogy, honestly. I was failing a trilogy, but they're not failing a trilogy, so they're just giving us Pikmin 3 Deluxe apparently. I'll wait, I'll wait until this is officially announced. If they get us some gameplay or something, maybe I'll make another video. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm feeling Pikmin 3 on the Switch. I am. I'm excited. I haven't played it in a little while. I played Pikmin 2 recently. They just released multiplayer Pikmin 2. Well, not Nintendo, obviously. That was, like, a mod for the, for the ROM. But uh, that's pretty exciting. And I'm going to get into that soon, too. I'm probably going to stream that. But, um... I'm excited for Pikmin 3 on the Switch. I wish Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 1 would also come to the Switch. If it's not going to be a trilogy collection, so be it. It's Pikmin 3 Deluxe, which could mean that there's going to be more stuff. You know, there was, like, little DLC, like, challenge things, and they might add some stuff. I would love it if they would, like, like give us, like, maybe, like, a little side story. It would be fun if we could play through the story, like, the prequel of Pikmin 3 about Almer and Louie's, like, little adventure. That would be fun, I that would be cool if they did that but who knows if they're actually going to do anything fun or if it's just going to be called deluxe because it's on the switch i don't know but there's there's a lot of cool stuff i'm excited because switch is going to be pretty it's going to be pretty on the switch it was pretty on the wii u so the switch is going to be pretty and then i'm just excited in general i'm excited in general that's it so you know i'm excited for pikmin 3 I know what y'all are thinking. Probably, I probably lost like a million subs. Every time, every time I upload to my YouTube channel, which is not often, I lose like, I lose like 5,000 subscribers. And it's because obviously I haven't uploaded in a while and then I upload and people are like, oh, this guy still exists? Unsubscribed. And it's like, that sucks, bro. But like, I've been, I've been in some kind of contention here because I'm like, should I upload... Should I upload or should I not upload? Because it's either I upload and I lose a ton of subscribers or I don't upload and I'm not uploading. And I don't, I don't, I don't ever want to say like I can come back to YouTube because 
I don't think I'll ever have the time or like the 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 dedication for it. But I want to talk about stuff sometimes. I love talking to myself and like imagining that people are listening and hoping that people will listen. So that's all. That's what I've been thinking like lately. I'm like I'm just gonna do like a talk show and whatever. If I go down to like two K subscribers, so be it. As long as some people are watching my videos, I don't care who some subscribes. I'm I'm subscribes. I don't care how low I get. You know, like it's it's it doesn't even matter at this point because it's either it sits there at, at a higher amount of subscribers and it does nothing, or I use my YouTube channel. It's my YouTube channel. I'm allowed to use it. And I lose subscribers, and like I go down, whatever. Because I was at, I was almost at like eighty k, and for real, I, I uploaded like two things, five, a couple things. I uploaded a couple things, and all of a sudden it's like, well, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Everyone unsubscribe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. I don't even need to worry about numbers. I'm not even like I don't even have the ability to monetize my YouTube anymore. So it doesn't even matter numbers. I'm not making a living off this. I make I have my own job. You know, like this isn't anything. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna upload sometimes maybe. I just been thinking about it, like you know, because I I moved into my new house. I bought a house, right? That's that seems like a big deal. I haven't talked about that. I haven't talked about a lot of stuff on here, and I I bought like um you know I have like my studio. No, it's not really a studio. It's a pretty big computer room, and it has, like, Eris's computer in it as well. So we're kind of, like, I may be limited on when I can record and stuff like that. But, you know, if I if I have something I want to talk about, I'm, I'm going to want to talk about it. So I figure, you know what, caution to the wind. Remember this, I had 66.3K. I seriously was almost at, like, 80K subscribers, and, and I'm down here. And I know, don't care about the numbers. But, you know, the numbers are there to make you feel better. And if a lot of people are unsubscribing, it's like, damn, man, like, I gained these people's trust at some point. And now they're like, I don't trust that man no more. So it's whatever. I Like, I wanted to hit 100K, and I'm never going to hit 100K. Would have been cool to have a plaque that says Sleepy Drachi on it. I'm never going to have that. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because at this point, it's gonzo. It's donezo. And I will always be looking up, always be looking at the positive side of everything. It don't matter. So here I am. And I'm going to upload again, I guess, sometimes. And my second channel, uh, my second channel going to be popping up because I got, I got a lot of stuff that I have to upload over there. And I don't always public like anything I upload, I play a ton of games and I just upload them to my second channel and I never public them because I'm like, oh, well, if I'm going to public them, I'm going to make them pretty. You know, they're nothing special. There's no editing. It's just like me playing video games and chilling. I don't, I don't usually even talk in most of them. So I don't care. I don't know if anyone really cares about anything like that. But like, you know, I, I, seven months ago was my last upload publicly. These are public uploads because I try to make them, you know, at least make like a thumbnail or something for them. But I do have like tons of other videos uploaded to here. And, you know, this is like a real small subscriber channel. And I dig it. I kind of dig it. This is like scaring me. You know, I used to think this was so cool. But he's kind of scary looking. But I don't I don't even play Fallout. That's four years ago. This. Oh, my God. Bro, this is so old. Right. I don't think I ever finished uploading this. We never finished this. I'm gonna start streaming again. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be around. I'm gonna be around. Check out my Twitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna link it in here somewhere, right? Or I'll link it in the description as well. And I'll link my second channel. And I'll link everything else. I don't know if anyone's watching me talk about this. I'm sure I have at least one person that's interested in what Sleepy Drachi been up to. Listen, I got, I got a house, and I got a job, and I'm busy. But, you know, quarantine and all that. We're in the middle of a pandemic. So I'm not always gone. I'm not always out and about. I'm I'm home more often. So maybe I'll maybe I'll start, you know. Maybe I'll start making more videos again. I don't I don't got much else to talk about. If you have any suggestions for things like this, or if you want to tell me like, yo, Sleepy, just stop uploading. Like you're over. You're done. Then whatever. I'll I'll take it to heart and I'll ignore it. But like I'm just saying I don't know. I, I miss I miss the interaction of the YouTube channel. I love Twitter, but I lost like my main Twitter. I'm, I'm my other Twitter is now called Sleepy Bakes. Is stupid. It's not stupid. I like Sleepy Bakes. I like the Twitter. Right. I got like some followers, but I miss my old Twitter man, and I miss my old YouTube channel. But I'm never gonna go back to where I was because back then I was like an extraordinaire. I was hacking stuff and I was playing Pokemon all the time, and I just can't do that no more, man. 
Because I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm just past that. I'm evolved past that. So what's my channel going to be? Me talking about Nintendo stuff all the time. That's all it ends up being. You know, maybe if I really get back into it, I'll get like a serious mic again. You know, I got a mic and a mic arm somewhere. I got, I got stuff I could set up, but I, I just want to, like, I wasn't ever planning on really uploading again. And then today they announced Paper Mario and I was thinking, man, I'd love to talk about this for 25 minutes. Anyway, that's where I'm going to end the video because I've been talking for 25 minutes and I never stop talking if I do these videos. But that's what I love. I love doing this. I don't know. It's cool. I'm not even playing music anymore. I stopped playing music forever ago. Right. I record these all in one shot. I don't even edit things because I can edit things. Right. I got the Adobe suite and all that through my job, actually. But editing is more for like let's plays i'm just talking man i'm just talking so i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna upload this maybe i'll never upload this maybe i won't even upload this and i'll just let my channel be dead i don't know man thanks for watching uh, leave a comment or something follow me on twitter if you want check out my second channel my twitch i'm gonna stream eventually i don't know i'm like i'm like uh not partnered what's the what's the one before partnered like the baby one I have whatever that is, so I have, like, you can you can subscribe on Twitch and stuff like that. I don't know. I would, I have always thought about, like, streaming on YouTube, but I don't really want to because it looks whack and Twitch is fun. But that's just some feelings. I got to stop talking. I'm going to leave. Really, I was like, all right, 25 minutes max, 20 minutes max, 15 minutes. I just keep going. I never stop. I never stop. But it's cool. It's cool. So, you know, if you watch this, thanks a lot. Uh, you know, if you agree with me. Leave a like. If you disagree with me, dislike. I don't care. It doesn't matter. My my YouTube shit, it's not monetized. As long as, like, one or two people are watching and being like, damn, I watched the whole video, then, like, that's cool. Thank you. I'm out. I'm out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. And, like, watch, watch. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I could do a separate update video. I wanted to talk about, like, all this stuff because, like, obviously, you know, Project Azroid is back up and kicking. It's popping right now. We're moving along. Uh, Sword and Shield, I actually recorded my playthrough silently. That'll go up on my second channel probably as a silent playthrough. Um, and then I'm just going to I'm just gonna stream stuff on Twitch. And this YouTube channel is pretty much just going to be... I don't know if I'm going to do LPs on here anymore. I might just only upload LPs on my second channel. Maybe if I do like... I don't know. I can't, I can't see myself doing any LPs really on, on this channel. I feel like I just want to talk here. But that, isn't that stupid? Because this was like an LP channel plus hacks. And I like uploading the Azrite things. And I like uploading the... I like uploading like, you know, if I ever do little hacks and stuff like that again. But I, my Switch isn't hacked. And I, I don't want to hack it because I was already banned from like some stuff. And then I got myself unbanned. And then they like kind of rebanned me a little bit only in some games. It's complicated, right? I don't want to go too into that. But you know, that's just how it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. I love you all, and I will see y'all next time I upload a video or on Twitter if you want to come hang out with me or if you want to be like, yo, come to my town in Animal Crossing. I will. I love Animal Crossing. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.